<laughs> oh, fuck it, hell, man. You can't make this up sometimes, man. You really can't. Okay, so I'm back. I'm back. Second video of the day. Didn't think I was going to be making a video like this. But here we are. And it's funny because in yesterday's morning vlog, um, I was saying that I was going to be posting a couple of videos. One talking about people's assumptions about me and the other video um, sort of debunking um, someone trying to paint a narrative of me that was completely not true. And this this situation that has happened now has reminded me to actually like put those videos up because yeah, all day today I was even thinking about the fact that I'd made that video and then um, you know the 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 sort of ramifications, the consequences that can come from that, you know, and accepting those ramifications, accepting those consequences. Um, because if any of the people that, that I'm talking about see that video and stuff, you know, even though it was me just getting my thoughts out, you know, and talking about how I feel and shit and just being honest and stuff, you know, and not to say that they're not right to feel how they feel about that first video. Um, but, you know, that was the intention, just talking about how I feel hesitant i was hesitant to talk about it but it's better to just get it out than just keep it in it's better to just get it out somewhere you know than to just keep it in but then i get a response on that video from someone that i haven't spoken to for nearly a year which is ironic it's mad it's mad and they're making some accusations they're making some accusations and telling some stories and telling some stories men which are just not true <laughs> it's just which are entirely just not true and stuff but you know here we are do you know what i'm saying and it's it's it's, it's mad that you know they took the time you took the time because now I know that even though you've got me blocked everywhere else and the other, and the reason why I know that you have got me blocked everywhere else yeah is one yeah a few days ago a mutual friend of ours and that which I'm I'm going to bring up again and that um had put up posts saying that they were worried about you, they'd not found you in, in a few days, like they couldn't find you, but they'd found you, do you know what I mean? And you were all safe and well and stuff, you know? And I was trying to find you, but couldn't find you at all. Couldn't find your, your, your Facebook account, couldn't find you on Twitch to send you a whisper. You'd already blocked me on Discord, and shit, so already I knew I couldn't reach you on Discord, and that, and that was the last time that I actually spoke to you through Discord, and shit, so there was nowhere that I could, I could reach you through all the usual means, I didn't have a phone number for you, or anything like that, you know, um, and then after that, you know, I was happy that you'd been found, and shit, um, and then after that, I was in a mutual friend's, um, another mutual acquaintance, I shall, I, shall, I shall say, instead of friend, but a mutual um, Twitch streamer acquaintance of ours. Um, I'm in there, I'm chilling out, I'm listening to them, making a tune. And they've got the chat on screen as well as on Twitch. You've got the normal chat that you can see. And then you've got the chat that the streamer puts on screen that everyone can see. And I can see your name popping up. I'm like, right, yeah, so you've definitely got me blocked then. You've definitely got me blocked everywhere. And then for you to pop up on this video. Making this whole narrative in the comments <laughs> that I'm do, I do the very thing that I'm accusing other people of. When you have no idea what the situation is actually about, and I purposely made it that way, yeah, 
just so then I'm not talking other people's business. I'm just talking about how I feel about the situation and what people don't get or what people choose to ignore sometimes is that when people want to talk about situations that they have gone through, they just want to talk about situations that they've gone through. They're not bad mouthing or anything like that. They just want to talk about the situation that they've gone through, like I have. I've not bad mouthed these people, but I have admitted, do you know what I mean, that it hurt. The situation hurt. And just to solidify why it hurt me, these are not acquaintances. These are not people that that I speak to every now and again after a long period of time, as you suggested in your comment. These are people that I speak to regularly. These are people that I work with, especially in regards to releasing music and this, that and the third. So I, sp I speak to them regularly. And the fact that even though I'd spoken to all of these people regularly, and then something happened where someone is traveling a good amount of time to be able to get to where all of us are. And they've all met up. And I didn't know about it. And it's not that I was entitled. I'm entitled to their time or I'm entitled to their feelings again, which you suggest in your comment, which we're going to get to. We're going to get to. It's not that I feel entitled to their time. It's that because they're good friends, they're friends that I've known well before getting into the, getting actually actually getting into the Twitch uh, drum and bass community, which which is where you are from. Well before that, years before that, in fact, we have been communicating. We've met years before I came into the Twitch D and B drum and bass community, which is where me and you met, Mary well before that so this isn't just you know an acquaintance like yourself from someone who lives on the other side of the world no this is somebody who i've met regularly <laughs> we played events together we've done bookings together we've gone through some pretty peak times together as well do you know what i'm saying so it's not that i felt entitled to their time or their feelings it, it, it's because if I'd have known that it was it was happening, I would have been so excited to actually see them. To actually see them rather than just speaking to them through Discord or over the phone, because I have their phone number, which I don't have for you, Mary. I'm not going to use your real name, but I don't have a phone number for you, Mary. I have phone numbers for other people that we also know, but I don't have a phone number for you. And that, and because these are actual real friends that I'm talking about, people that I consider real friends, close friends, that's why it actually hurts. That's why I'm having the reaction that I'm having. Not that I feel entitled to, I can't feel entitled to something that I didn't know about. And it isn't entitlement, it's, in, it's excitement for being able to see someone who I consider a friend. But just to clear up that context, because again, you've just made so many assumptions about the situation when you know nothing, <laughs> you know nothing at all. Shit. Do you know what I mean? Let's go into it. Let's go into it. So Mary Jane, Mary Jane Lockhart. I know who you are and that we've not spoken to, spoken for nearly a year, nearly a year. And this is how you choose to reintroduce yourself when you've got me blocked everywhere else. And thank you for letting me know that you do hate watch my videos. You hate watch my content and that because how would you, if you're not watching, if you don't want anything to do with me because you blocked me everywhere else, why would you be on here commenting on my videos? Why would you waste your time? Why would you waste your time on somebody who clearly you didn't want anything to do with because you've blocked me everywhere? I've not blocked you. You blocked me. You've blocked me. But let's get into this. We'll get into your we'll get into your comment 
and then we'll get into what I wrote down as a comment and then decided, no, I'll do a video. I'll do a video. And Mary, seriously, if you really want to take this further, I still have all of the Discord, all of the Discord messages. Yours have gone, but my replies are still there. And you will be able to see me saying everything that I'm going to say in this video. But you decided to comment on my other video saying, I've noticed that people tend to toss the word friend around lightly. I wasn't tossing it around lightly. These are all actual friends, people I've known for years. Some of them decades. Some of them actual decades I've known. So that's where you fucked up and got it a bit wrong. And also where you may be projecting a little bit. But let's continue. When there is a vast difference between a friend and a networking acquaintance. If someone is truly your friend, they understand and accept you for who you are. For who, for who, Accept you for who and how you are. And regardless of the amount of time that, that has passed since you've been in contact with them, when you do reconnect, they wouldn't judge you for taking time for yourself. Interesting. Interesting way to start this, even though, again, you're assuming that I'm talking about people that I don't have a close relationship with and that I don't work with when... when I do. I actually do have a close relationship with them, and I do. I do work with them closely. Um, and a really good friend would check in with you periodically, even if you don't respond immediately, because as a friend, they would understand why you took that time. Interesting. I wouldn't be able to check in on you because you've blocked me, even on Twitch. You've blocked me so even if, even if we were in the same stream i would not be able to know if you were there unless there was another chat chat um, box on screen where i can actually see who's commenting and who's not commenting or if the streamer actually shouted you out on the microphone i would not be able to know if you were there but that's that that's that's you that's you that's you <laughs> But here's where we get into it. Here's where we get into it. I think this is where, where you were triggered. Yeah. Okay. You also mentioned several times that you can only control yourself and your actions. Yet the underlying tone of this monologue is that you feel entitled to be included in other people's life experiences. When it's their experience, not yours. Unless you've been invited to be part of that. That's the only thing that you've you've taken from this that I feel entitled to other people's, and it's very telling that it, you're using the word entitled. I feel entitled to somebody else's time and 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 experiences. No, it would have been great to actually see them. They make the effort to come a long way in the same country. We're in the same country, in the UK. So it's not far, it's like a few hours at most, five, six hours at most. So it's not necessarily something that you just do on the spare of the moment. Maybe. I could be wrong, I don't know. And I even admit in the video that I don't know what's going on. But at this point, does it matter? Does it matter? With that. But yeah, I think that's what got you triggered. I don't know why, because this situation is nothing to do with you, but you're choosing to insert yourself. And I get it. I get it. I put, I put this out publicly. I put this out publicly. So obviously I've got to expect some different, differenting opinions. But it's different because it's you who's coming out with this and trying to use this opportunity that if anybody reads your comment, they will have a different, diff, different opinion of me than that due to the narrative that you're trying to spin here but it reminded what makes me laugh is the parallel is the parallel that yeah you are the acquaintance 
you 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 are the actual acquaintance the same way when i had this it, it had a similar issue of someone trying to paint a narrative around me and that the person who was trying to do that a few years ago in 2021 was someone who i hadn't seen for years I hadn't spoken to for years they lived in a completely different country they didn't see me day to day they didn't know what was going on with me daily. We didn't speak often. And the only time we did was only in certain situations. It's a parallel here. There's a parallel here with yourself. That the only time we would speak is in certain situations. The only time we, we connected regularly was in certain situations. But you live on the other side of the world. You live in a completely different country. We don't speak every day. You don't know what's going on with me daily. Or a lot more regularly than people that actually know me. You are trying to talk as if you know me when you don't. And the situation you're trying to use to paint as if you know me, you completely fabricated. Completely and twisted to make it seem like you were included in something when that was not the situation, to make it seem like I was leaving you out of something when that was not the situation. But let's get into it. Let's get into it. Just because everyone doesn't want to be around you, just because everyone doesn't want to be around everyone they know at the same time, all of the time, okay, it doesn't mean that they think any less of you. That being said, it's difficult to maintain a meaningful relationship with any kind of any kind with a person who, with their words, pub publicly projects themselves as someone who cares about other people's struggles because of their own uh, personal experience with difficult life situations. But when someone who had literally spent thousands of hours supporting them attempts to share similar struggles, which you didn't, to try and alleviate the obvious loneliness that both people are experiencing that same person who publicly promotes the idea of people with mental health issues lifting each other up with care and support privately tells that person that their struggles are irrelevant because theirs and theirs are the only ones that matter to them this is where i know this is where i know that you are pulling this completely out of your ass, because that's not how our situation ended that's not how you approached me at all that's not how the problem between us that wasn't the problem between us at all there was no problem between us but you wouldn't accept that there was no problem between us you wanted there to be a problem and I can't read your mind unless, unless you spell it out without trying to blame somebody else, which you were trying to do. But let's continue. Let's get all of this out, yeah? Let's all, let's get all of this out, okay? Uh, matters to them okay but even that is understandable coming from someone who is in the depths of grief however when they go to tell so they tell that supportive person who thought who thought they were at the very least an acquaintance that they've been involved in conversations with other people where everyone was speaking negatively about them behind their backs it leads one to believe that there might be a possibility that this is a regular occurrence and nobody wants to be nobody wants to befriend a person who would take the time out of their day to spread negativity about a person who isn't even present to defend themselves and had done nothing but go out of their way to support someone who publicly acts like they care but go out of their way to privately badmouth them to others completely wrong this is you twist in the situation but again it's interesting that you mention people who act like friends to your face but secretly hate you yeah because it felt like i remember this i say that because it felt like i was in one of those reddit threads where it's like oh 
when did you find out that your friends hated you? When did you find out that you were the problem and stuff? I even laughed about that in the, in, in in said video. Now, I can understand if people are taking that as that's how I actually feel about my friends. No, that's not that's not how I feel about my friends. I don't think that they hate me. I might think that they think I'm the problem. But I don't think they hate me. I don't think they think any less of me. I just may be a bit much to deal with right now. And I acknowledged that. <laughs> this is the maddest thing. I acknowledge that. But you're trying to paint a picture that, again, is just not true at all. And if we, we can even go by timeline, we can literally go by timeline if we really want to take it there. But it's cool. And how hurtful it is to feel like feel that from someone who who from someone you thought was a friend because relationships are like mirrors, are they? Are they? You get what you give. Is it? Is it? Are you are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because a lot of the time it can be a case of, it can be more of a case of, you know, people assuming more than the other person due to bad communication or no communication whatsoever and shit, which is not the case in this case, but okay. You get what you give. But when you post a video on YouTube about people doing, doing to you exactly what you've done to other people, again, not done to you. Not done to you. I don't know why you're trying to make out that it is. It's not. And you'd like. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Done to you because from what I've observed. How. I don't know how you're observing anything. If you've blocked me for nearly a year. You didn't seem to think it's an issue. When you conduct yourself in the exact. In exactly the same way. As the persons you are claiming to be hurt by. Because they did, they did exactly the same thing. You are also guilty of doing to others. You are like. You are well. Trying to make out our, our situation. Is exactly the same as this. When it's not when it's, it's just not it's just not but we'll get into it because that perhaps this incident this incident is a, a is it just an example of people treating you the way that way they observe you treating others in your in your life i've noticed that people who tend to avoid speaking about people who aren't present who tend to avoid speaking speaking about people who aren't present or who don't carry the attitude that they are entitled to someone else's thoughts feelings or experiences don't get their feelings hurt when their friends have experiences without them it seems like it seems like you could save yourself a lot of self-manufactured hurt feelings by remembering that everyone else's life isn't always about you <laughs> And that most people don't want to be around someone who, sorry to say, is so self-absorbed that they think they have a right to even be hurt. Wow. They think they have a right to even be hurt. Hurt that they were involved in someone else's life experiences for a day. Wow. All this from someone who has blocked me. It was blocked me everywhere and we've not spoken for nearly a year. But it, it, it's so telling. It's so telling. It's so, so telling that the moment I start doing these types of videos, that's when you come out and you want to, you want to out yourself with this comment. It's so telling. It's so, so telling. You know what? I've, I've, I forgot. Yeah, I've got, I've got this. I can actually show. What I'm reading. Boo! I can actually show what I'm reading. <laughs> I have the right to be here. Oh, my days. Okay. Okay. You see, it's self... Uh, so self-absorbed. Um do you invite everyone you know to every to every 
everything you do all of the time. This is the fact that you ask this question afterwards lets me know that you are using this as a way to get your frustrations out, as a way to paint me, as it paint me in a way that is just not true. And there's so many more layers to 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 what you're trying to say. Do you know what I mean? There's so many more layers to this than what you're trying to make out. And shit, me. It's 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 crazy. It's actually crazy. But we'll get into my comment. We'll get into my comment in a, in a second. But do you invite everyone you know to everything you do all the time? If not. Why would you expect that other people should do that for you? Okay, weird. That is the very defi def definition of entitlement. And nobody wants to be around an entitled hypocrite all the, all the time. That's an attitude better consumed in tiny doses, spaced very far apart. <laughs> if I went through life with that attitude, I'd be grateful for any any um any amount of time that anyone would be willing this is where you're getting nasty anyone would be willing to subject themselves to it instead of expecting expecting everyone that everyone should go out of their way to invite an entitled entitled hypocrisy to everything that they do this is where you go you are joke jumping so far out of the window but it's all good <laughs> I'm pretty sure the people, I'm pretty sure the reason people don't always invite you isn't that grief and depression cause, caused you to miss a few things that frankly, if they were really that important to you, you would have set an alarm for. Because again, if they were truly your friends, they wouldn't hold it against you. If you were really that this, if you, you're really disaffected by these situations, maybe it would be, maybe it would behoove your mental health situation to make friends with people who don't make you feel like they're punishing you for having a valid reaction to justified feelings like grief and depression. When did I say that, they, that I felt like they were punishing me? This is where you do, you're jumping so far out of the window that you're making connections that, that just don't need to be made, that have no, no, they can't be made. You're just making false connections. When in my video did I say that I felt like my friends were punishing me because I'd missed situations? And it's ironic that he's saying setting alarms and this, that, and the third, which I did. But depression is depression. Grief is grief. And when you get out of that hole and shit like that, like I said, I'm checking, I'm checking phone calls, I'm checking text messages, and I've missed them. In this situation, I didn't. And that's not them punishing me because I've missed these things because of grief, dep grief and depression. I'm punishing myself when I've realized that these things have happened and I've missed these things. And I realized, fuck, I am so lost in my head with all of this stuff. They're not punishing me. I'm punishing myself. So I don't know where you're coming from with find friends who don't make me feel like make me feel like I'm being punished for grief and depression. Unless you're projecting there. Unless you are projecting there, because I know I know you were dealing with grief and depression around that same time because you had lost a friend to cancer. I knew that. So unless you're projecting right now. But again, that's not what we talked about. That's not how, how, how our relationship ended. That's not the reason why our relationship ended. It was because of your ill communication and your inability to actually listen when someone is saying to you, I have no problem with you. You have done nothing wrong. You are not the only one. But again, we'll get into um, we'll get into my comment in a second. Uh, you to find people who don't make you feel like they're punishing you for having a valid reaction to justified re uh, feelings like grief and depression. 
I found that in in situ that in situations where I would have felt hurt and left out in the past, if I remember that what other people think say do is more is none of my business, I don't spend time ruminating about other people's actions. Most of the time, even and especially when you think think it's about you, it isn't. When I'm saying that I'm ruminating on things, it's not just situations like this. I'm ruminating on grief. So when I'm talking about losing my mum as well as other members of my family, that's what I'm ruminating on. It's those people's lives that I'm ruminating on. It's those people's actions that I'm ruminating on. Because in the previous video, like I said, things weren't happy. When my mum passed, things weren't happy. The family was not in a good place. And it's now getting to the point of understanding where we stand as a family now is just not good. But again, you're trying to make connections that are not there when all I'm doing is just talking about where I am mentally and how I'm feeling mentally about situations and stuff. But again, we can have these conversations, but the fact that it's coming from you. If this was a random person on the internet, the conversation would be different. But the fact that it's coming from you, the same as the last in, last situation that I got in, the fact that it's coming from someone who claims to know me, who is an acquaintance, who has the opportunity, who had the opportunity to do this privately, but chose to go public. Okay, we'll deal with it publicly then. We'll deal with it publicly then. Because you, you're showing that you personally have an issue with me and you're trying to paint it as if it's the exact same situation as this when it's not. When it's not. But we'll get into it. <laughs> None of my business. Spending time ruminating on other people's actions. Most of the time, even and especially when you think about it, think it's about you, it isn't. Everyone has their own shit that has nothing to do with anyone but themselves. And they are solely acting and reacting um, to something internal. Even though it's easy sometimes to forget, forget that and think it's always about you. Because in your mind, everything is about you. <laughs> but again, that's everyone. So you shouldn't take everything so personally. It's a damaging waste of time. Ironic. Ironic. The level of projection, the level of projection that is going on right now. Because you know when, you know when I don't, I, you know when like things are done for me, they're just done in it. Do you know what I mean? And if, I, if I'm not thinking about somebody, I'm just not thinking about them. Like I said, I tried to get in touch with you because people were looking for you. People that actually know you, people that actually care about you were looking for you. But because you blocked me everywhere, I couldn't find you, which is fine. It's understandable if that's what you want to do. That is fine. It's just interesting when you choose to reconnect in this way. This is very interesting when you choose to, to, re, to reconnect in this way. But it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Here's my response. Okay. And it'll be a lot of what I've already said, but here's my response. Considering you have blocked me everywhere and the fact that you did so because I removed everyone from being a mod on my Twitch channel, brackets, meaning not just you. And you took it personally, even though I told you over and over again, it wasn't anything personal. I find it so ironic that you write this whole full story just to tell me at the end not to take everything so personally. <laughs> My DMs are still are still there where you can clearly see all of this. You bring in you bring in other people's names into into our discussion for no reason. You were the one who wouldn't accept my answer that you had done nothing wrong. 
you were the one who decided that I didn't value your time when that wasn't the case. You were the one who kept trying to twist my words. You were the one telling me to speak to another woman to understand you, which made no sense, but showed your jealousy because that same woman booked me and flew me out to Canada. That same woman was all over all over Facebook trying to find people to try and try and find you. That same woman. That same woman who I have their phone number, but I don't have your phone number. That same woman. So it's it's showing your jealousy of her. It's showing that jealousy. And it's very telling that, you know. At the beginning of your comment, you're talking about when someone, um, what is it, when someone uh, is coming to you about loneliness. <laughs> but when someone who literally spent out a thousand hours, which he didn't, um, supporting them attempts to share their similar struggles to try and alleviate the obvious loneliness that both people are experiencing. You had a boyfriend at the time, Mary. What loneliness are you talking about? That What obvious loneliness are you talking about? You literally had a boyfriend at the time. Not that I was trying to do anything with you, but you literally had a boyfriend at the time. <laughs> we even spoke to you and your boyfriend at the time. I've got the comment here. You know what? Like, because I just I want I want people to see. I want people to see this comment. I want people to see that I am actually reading this comment. Yeah. Let me just switch it up. And that so hold on. Notes, 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 notes. Find our desktop. Hold on. Apologies, because it, 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 it gets a bit crazy after a while. There we go. Notes. There we go. And that, and because it's a bit small there, let's make it a bit bigger. So you can read it and you'll be able to see other stuff. And that, so, da, 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 you were the one who kept twisting my words. You were the one, you were the one telling me to speak to another woman to understand you, which made no sense, which made no sense, but showed your jealousy. Uh, because that same woman booked me and flew me out to Canada. We even spoke to you and your boyfriend at the time while I was out there. And then I get home and you decided I was the worst person in the world and didn't value your time because I removed mod badges from everybody because I didn't know at the time that Ray Pal changes the titles of your stream during raid events. You were the only person who reacted the way you did because, again, you were not the only mod. And now that I don't have, and now I don't have any mods because I never want to deal with your level of entitlement ever again. But hey, let's go, let's go make up lies on somebody else's YouTube, YouTube channel after not speaking to them and blocking them for nearly a year. That was the comment. That was the comment that I was going to write to you, but. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it, Mary. Look. <clears throat> All of these assumptions that you're making, you're making because you are projecting that after, even after a year, you're still upset with me. You're still upset with me. You tried so hard to keep and kept saying, I don't get it. I don't get it. No, I do get it. I do get it. And I do, I did value your time. I did value your time. But Mary, you created problems for yourself. In the DMs, you said that we had talked about, 
problems with mod with you being a mod before? Yes, because you were kicking off with people during my streams. You're picking fights with them in my actual chat. And then you're also picking fights with them in the whispers and private DMs outside of my, outside of my chat, outside of my streams. And they're coming to me with problems about you. Here's another, th here's another thing as well, yeah? Here's another thing as well. I'm seeing as though people really seem to, like, want to hold on to this. Oh, you were going around bad-mouthing me. I can't go around bad-mouthing somebody that I don't know. Yeah? And the situation that you're talking about, claiming that I'm the one who's going around bad-mouthing you. No. No, I'm not. I'm going around asking people that know you what you're like as a mod because you're a mod on so many different people's channels and they're the ones coming to me and letting me know you're a great mod which you were amazing mod best mod out of all of the other mods that i had and yes i had other mods even before you keisha so this whole 1000 hours no that's something that you've seen me achieve on my channel and you're taking up of, of, of on yourself because you weren't there for every stream you weren't there for all of the streams you jumped in when you could because guess what like you said you have your own shit going on you have your own life going on and every time you were a mod i was thankful but the moment you started causing problems for me for no reason other than you had problems with other people that were with other people that were coming into my stream And even though you're telling me, oh, this is what they've done, that's what they've done, you're still making it uncomfortable for people during the stream by picking fights with them. That's what we had a conversation about. But this second time when you lost the mod badge, you had done nothing wrong and you refused to accept it. I told you at the start, things were happening with my channel that I didn't understand, so I removed the mod badge from everybody i had spoken to each person this that and the third if you're making ch changes to my channel just speak to me first if you're doing this that and the third just speak to me first i didn't even get that far with you because you're like you don't value my time you don't do, do, do. you just blew up you just blew up and i'm trying to get you to calm down and you're just going sick connecting things that are not connected and then when you bring up another Twitch streamer, go and speak to them when I didn't bring, bring them up. You brought them up. And I even had to say to you, what? You know what? I would, I would bring up the DMs. I would actually bring up the DMs, but it would reveal your real name. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that at all. That's the only reason why I don't have them here. But that's the thing, like, whenever I get into these types of situations and shit, people want, to, people want to use the fact that everybody doesn't know everything and everyone can't see everything to their advantage and try and paint this, that and the third. When I'm making videos talking, we're talking about my mental health and my experience, because that's all I can talk about. I try and lift people up with music. That's the that's the space. And even then I say to people, even in coffee talk, I would I will say to people, my door is not always open. My door is not always open because I'm going through it myself. I have my people that I go to. I have a therapist that I go to. I have the people that I need around me to go to. Get those people for yourself. That'll be the best. That'll always be the best advice. If I'm going to give any kind of any kind of advice to anybody about their mental health, but that's not how the situation went went on between me and you, Mary. You did not come to me 
wanting to talk about loneliness. You did not come to me wanting to do you was you were surprised that you didn't have the mod badge. You came up with your own reasonings for why you thought that was happening. You tried to bring in other people's names. Like our mutual friend who was worried about worried sick about you. Like another Twitch streamer who you you had been a mod for before. And it turns out the reason why you felt that way when it came to me and the reason why you were upset about losing the mod badge is because you'd lost the mod badge from that channel. The only difference is that channel actually had a problem with you. I didn't. I didn't. You had done nothing wrong. And I kept telling you it's not that deep. It's not that serious. You've not done anything wrong. Kept telling you. You wouldn't take it. You wouldn't accept it. And as you did, as you do in these comments, you start, you started to get nasty. And when you started to do things that other people have con confirmed to me, why? Because they've known you longer than I have. Because they'd known you way before. I'd got involved in the Twitch drum and bass community way before that. So I'm people, I'm speaking to people with more experience than me about you as a mod. Because I see you on so many people's channels modding for their channels. And they're telling me what you are like. And then you are confirming that. And that's why I said this person was right. That person was right. So it's not me bad mouthing you. It's other people letting me know what you're like. And there's a whole load of not taking any accountability at all in your post. Whereas I can take accountability for the fact of I can miss things. And it's on me. It's not any on anybody else. It's on me. They're not making me feel punished. They're the ones who are telling me it's not a problem. It's fine. It's cool. No props. Even said in the video, it could be a case of, yeah, depression, grief. They don't want me around. They don't. It could be that. That's fine. What I'm grappling with, which I said in the video, what I'm grappling with is, is there any, do I need to know these reasons? Do I need to, is there any point in me knowing why this, that and the third? Does it make it any better? Does it push me in any way? No, it doesn't. So crack on. And if it means that I need to be alone so I can focus on myself and get this done and this, that and the third done and sorted, then so be it. So be it. If it means that I am the problem, yes, I am the problem. So be it. If that's not me taking accountability, then I don't know what is. If that's not me recognising that, I don't know what the reasons are. If that's not me, that I even said that I take a step back rather than going in and being irrational. I check myself first. Mary, you can't say that you're doing that. You cannot. You cannot say that you're doing that at all. All you're doing is using this as an opportunity to try and bring me down when really you shouldn't be thinking about me at all. And maybe this is a case, like I was, like was going to say before, relationships are not mirrors. They're not mirrors. They're not mirrors. You don't get, you don't get what you put in. You don't get back what you put in. At all. At all. One side is always putting in more than the other side. Always. And then it hurts to find out. To when you eventually find out that fact. And I think that's the case with you. But I'm confused. I'm so confused. As to the levels 
of entitlement that are coming from yourself. I'm I'm confused as to how it's gotten to that point. Where because I remove a, a mod badge, you feel that I don't I don't value your time. And you didn't even explain it. You just kept saying to me that I don't get it. I don't get it. And even though we're arguing in text, so you have the opportunity to actually type it out. Same way you had the opportunity to type out that whole paragraph, you had the opportunity to type out how you really felt about the situation. But you didn't. You didn't. You kept trying to twist it into, no, no, it's not like that at all. You kept trying to make it as if I actually had a problem with you when I didn't. And I kept telling you I don't. But the more you wouldn't accept it, the worse that it got. This you, this is you projecting. This is you projecting, Mary. So if you actually want to talk about anything, because it seems like you do. Unless you do, unless again you're just trying to use this as an opportunity to try and paint a narrative about me, which isn't true. Because again, if you want to take this further, we can take this further, and I can bring up all my DMs from the last time that we actually spoke, and we can go from there. We can literally go from there. I can confirm with people that yeah, we spoke FaceTime. Our friend that flew me out to Canada FaceTimed you. You were with your boyfriend. High as usual. I'm with my two other friends. As well as our mutual friend. Hi, hope you're alright. This, that and the third. I've not got a problem with you. If I had a problem with you, I would have told you I had a problem with you. If not. But you wanted there to be a problem because you built up something in your head. And when you found out it wasn't the case, instead of accepting, oh, maybe I've got this wrong. You're like, no, nope, let's be studying. It is the way that it is. Block. Yeah, I got pissed off with you and I just told you to fuck off at the end because you weren't listening. You weren't listening at all. Well, you weren't reading. Because everything's in text. We didn't even have a phone call. <laughs> this is this is the crazy part about it. We didn't even have a phone call. We could have had a voice call. We could have FaceTimed. We didn't. But yeah, it's up to you. It's, it's, it's up to you, Mary. Like, if you want to carry this on, we can carry this on. It's fine. It's not a problem at all. And we can bring out all of the all of the, the, the DM records. And everyone can see how the situation went. If you want to unblock me on Discord, so then all of your messages will come back up again. Then we'll be able to see how it goes in real time. And you'll be able to see from the beginning, I said to you, it's not a problem. It's just this, this, this. I've been saying to everyone, this, this, this. It's cool. You can get the mod badge back. You took it further. You didn't want to accept that as an answer. You'd already built up in your mind that there was a massive problem. That's all on you. I, I and like I said in the video, I can't control other people. I can't read minds. I can talk till I'm blue in the face. I can explain everything till I'm blue in the face. But your perception, your interpretation is going to be your perception and your interpretation. At least in my video, when I'm talking about these situations, I can acknowledge that. I can acknowledge that a lot of this is coming from me. Because I've not spoken to them. I've not called them out on it. I've not because I'm trying to think about the situation. I'm trying to try. I even said in the video, I will overthink things to think about every situation possible to the point where I just won't end up doing anything. I can literally spell out everything plainly until I'm blue in the face and people will still take it 
however they want to take it. You're literally proof of that. You're literally proof of that right now with your comment, Mary. And as a result, even though this is less of the, 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 the madness that I had to deal with last time, but as a result, again, I'm having to do an hour long or 55 minute long video trying to lay out everything. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's mental. It's mental on how these things go sometimes. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. And like I said, full transparency, just like talking all the things out. I welcome, I welcome this kind of stuff. I welcome having discussions, debates. This is what was happening before with my old mental mental health videos that I was doing. We were talking about these things. The only difference is we were truly talking about these things from a place of trying to understand each other. You are projecting, Mary. You are trying to use this as an opportunity to pay me in a way that I'm not. I'm here to uplift people, this, that, and the third, but I make it very, very clear. I am not a psychiatrist. I am not a counsellor. I am not anything other than a person talking about their experiences. And if it, anything from my experiences helps anybody else, cool job done. That doesn't mean that I'm perfect. That doesn't mean that everything that I do is supposed to lift up everybody, this, that, and the third. Do you know what I mean? That doesn't mean that I've already dealt with my issues and I'm trying to portray myself as my life is perfect. I will be the first to tell you that I am not. I will always be the first because, again, I'm always the first to check myself. But if someone's coming at me with, for no reason whatsoever with a bag of bullshit, I'm going to let them know that's exactly what they're doing. You're coming at me for no reason whatsoever other than your own projection your own fucking shit that you're carrying and the fact that you are still upset over something that you let escalate to the point where that we are not friends anymore you were the one who blocked me you were the one who's blocked me everywhere else i have not done that to you you have done that to me because you don't want to accept that you got something completely wrong. So it's up to you. If you want to talk, you know where I am. You can unblock me. You can unblock me. You can send a message. If you don't want to talk and you don't like me and this, that and the third, cool. I shall block you from here. If I don't get a response anywhere else, after a week, do you know what I mean? If this video being up, I will take it as you've not watched the video or you've watched the video, but you're not bothering to respond and that, and I will block you from my YouTube channel because I'm not having people hate watching me. Like, you fucking weird people. If you don't like me, don't watch me. Crack on and live your life. You are not entitled to my time. <laughs> like, talking about entitlement, you're not entitled to my time. You out of anybody is not entitled to my time. So, okay. But, hey, you, did, you know what to do. You can unblock me. We can have a conversation. If not, after a week, don't hear anything from you. I'm blocking you from the YouTube channel and everywhere else. And shit. I'm doing the same to you because I'm not going through this over and over again with somebody who clearly doesn't want to fix anything or resolve anything. They just want to cause shit. So, <sighs> and with that, to everybody else who's been watching and listening, thanks. <laughs> I'll put the other videos up as well so you can see other situations where I've had to deal with this and stuff. And yeah. life eh take it easy man take care of yourself take care of your mental health because good mental health is wealth i'm not wealthy right now <laughs> i'll be the first to admit that i am not wealthy my mental health is not good so i am not wealthy 
but it is true good mental health is wealth and as always blessings see you all